Hey, it's Stu from Evolution Unleashed. A bit under the weather today, but the show must go on. It's also the sun is shining right out the window, and there's a couple of hours of my day where I just can't film unless I pull the curtains, and this is what you get. So if you're still here after that ramble, let's quickly talk about scenario-based marketing versus topic-based marketing when it comes to writing content with AI. Look, none of us like reading walls of content that don't really speak to us, and a big criticism of AI models is that they can't write good natural human copy. And I disagree, but it takes a little bit of work. So what I want to show you today is a way to do a slightly different approach that's going to bring more resonance, meaning what you write is going to speak to your target market at a much deeper level, showing them how you solve their problems. This is a marketing chat today, I suppose. So what am I talking about? Well, I've got two different versions of an article that I or a blog that I've asked our cute little uh, AI article and blog creator chatbot to write. But before that, and look at this, we're back in Claude. I wanted to create some scenarios rather than topics because mostly just about every prompt you see out there is like right on this topic, right about this topic. And really what we want to be doing in marketing is writing in a way that resonates with our target audience. So we want to speak to the scenarios or the problems that they're having. So a scenario, we're, we're going to show you those now, is just simply explaining the problem, the frustration, um, or the issues that someone in your target market is having that you're able to solve. And by exploring each scenario, we can write hyper-targeted, beautifully written content that speaks straight to those problems, meaning those people are going to pay attention, and it doesn't matter if nobody else does, because you're speaking to that audience. So... I've uploaded a context document to Claude. Thanks for letting me back, Anthropic. And I've been having a great play with Claude 3. I've uploaded some context for you today in the form of info about my business and my target market. This has four detailed personas or segments of my target audience. And today I'd like to help to create 15 scenarios that describe the problems, frustrations, and issues my target market may experience. And we get these scenarios. So scenario one, and it tells you which of my four personas that it's drawing from. John, a 38-year-old small business owner, is struggling to keep up with the rapid pace of technological change. Aren't we all, John? Like drinking from a fire hose. And what we can do, okay, you can read through the other scenarios before I jump ahead. I know I go fast. Um, Let's look at David, a 33-year-old digital marketing specialist, is under pressure to demonstrate return on investment and optimize campaigns. Uh, the creative visionary Sophie, a 29-year-old 20 year freelance writer, is trying to build her personal brand and make a meaningful impact through her work. However, she struggles to optimize her content creation workflow and effectively reach her target audience. In other words, we're stuck on the content creation treadmill. And I know many of you struggle with that. And we have a product that fixes it. So I want to show you how you can use scenarios to create better blogs on your website so that it speaks to these people, the right people. We're not trying to speak to everyone. We're trying to speak to the people that are most likely to buy our product. So I'm going to show you the difference. And I have uh, to really thank Felix Tay, a good friend of mine, for giving me this kind of insight into uh, this aspect of writing with AI. It's not something I'd really considered topic versus scenarios, but scenario-based blog writing is actually very powerful. And I'm really grateful to Felix for teaching me this. And I will always give credit where credit is due. I'm not here to steal people's ideas. I'm here to uh, learn, as we all are, and then teach. So Felix and I did a podcast last week. I'm going to have that out in the next two weeks as we launch Evolution Unleashed, brand new podcast. So keep an eye out for that. He's a very smart guy. And this is the sort of stuff you'll learn in it. But anyway, we're going to use our little A1 article and blog creator. This is a custom GPT. That means you don't need prompt engineering skills to write really much better articles. We're getting great reviews on this bot. So what I'm doing is I'm going to give it two. So you see I've got two screens here. The first one, I want to write on the topic, not scenario, the topic of Map2 and how it can help people. So that's what most people would do, right? You'll find Math 2, and then I've uploaded some context so it understands the product. And then it writes, so welcome business trailblazers and what is math, core components. So it's talking about the product 
And what it does, it still is very outcome focused, which is great. We taught it to be that, but it's very high level and generic. And that's the problem with most of your blog writing. So that will still speak to most of my audience. It's still okay. But look what happens when we take poor Sophie, her scenario here, a 29-year-old freelance writer that we just spoke about. And this time today, I want you to write a detailed blog post that speaks to a core scenario my target audience are having and show how Math 2 can help them. That's the only difference in this entire prompt. I've also just said, do not mention this particular persona in your output so it doesn't start talking about some made up Sarah. And look at this, optimizing content workflow and audience reach. So her problem is that content creation treadmill that we're all on, that's why I built Math 2 originally, I was building it for myself so that uh, I could create content at scale because it's just so time consuming otherwise. So it still takes you through understanding math too, but it's doing it in a way that speaks to the pain point that that, uh, that persona is having in this scenario. Very, very cool. And uh, it tells them that it pulls out the things from math that are most resonant or will most likely be related to by this particular persona. Automatic content creation. Well, if you're on that content creation treadmill, ooh, I want that. 30-day content plans. You Build them in an hour. Brilliant. I mean, not the plan you can build in an hour. You can build all the content a month in, in an hour. And content repurposing. All things that are going to speak directly to Sophie. And it enhances our audience reach. So remember, one of her problems, she struggles to optimize her content creation workflow and reach her target audience. And it's covering both target audience identification, lead generation of this type of person, competitive analysis, unique value proposition. So very, very cool. Real world application and benefits. And now it's speaking directly to the content creator. So it's a significantly better blog post. So thank you, Claude, for these scenarios. Very easy to do. I'll just leave the prompt there so you can read it. Just want to give it your target market. Now we have a toolkit that you can use. Let me find it for you real quick. This is the ultimate prompt toolkit. I'm, I'm going to show you this because in it, and it's free to get, you just click this button and we'll send it straight to you. And it has a target market persona prompt that will let you learn your target market so you can upload it to Claude. You can ask this question and then you can use this free. This is a free custom GPT we give to our community. You can find it in the chat GPT's um, store for custom GPTs, or you can come to our audience, uh, The Unleashed, on Facebook, and we've got it posted there. It's in our Patreon, or you can reach out to me direct. I'll get it for you. So if you want that Ultimate Prompt Toolkit, just drop a comment below. I'll send you the link, or you can read it here. You just go to evolutionunleashed.com, and you'll also get it. And that way, you can start building much better blog posts that are going to be more interesting to your audience and they are seo optimized automatically you don't need any seo optimization skills and this is your perfect little blog companion and it's going to write about that specific scenario nice and easy simple tip for you today i hope you found that valuable if so subscribe cost you nothing but helps me a ton and i'll be back with some more cool ways to use ai models to move yourself forward in the next one until then Peace.